Hey, old buddy. Feel like going for a ride? Well, let's talk about it. How's it going, folks? Um, you know, lately I've noticed uh, there's this kind of trend, this theme of a style of helmets. I guess I'll just call them Halo helmets. And if you're not familiar with Halo, uh, it is a video game, a uh, first-person shooter video game. And there's been recently a TV show as well. It's been around for a very long time. And there's a certain kind of... The, the, the main character of Master Chief wears this very recognizable helmet. I've been seeing a lot of kind of like similar motorcycle helmets out there in the wild. Uh, I took the liberty of doing a little bit of research for this video for once. And uh, I, I found a few that could potentially fit this mold of, of, of trend. Number one is the helmet that I have that I'll be talking about in this video. It is the MT Street Fighter. Then you have Speed and Strength SS2400, which is basically the same thing, just rebranded. You may be familiar with uh, Ruroc. Uh, they are the snowboarding helmets and now they're also in racing and as well as motorcycles. There's the Scorpion EXO, ILM, 726X, Wall J, TN, numbers, 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 numbers. There's the Bell Bruiser, which is, it's on the border. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but I can consider it kind of like that. Anyway, Auba YD US, whatever. And then there's the Martian HBB1. Uh, a lot of these are these Chinese knockoff helmets. I wouldn't necessarily wear them riding around. They seem a little cheap and who knows what they're made of. Uh, what does it all mean? Why, why is it this influx of these helmets that kind of look like they're from a science fiction video game? And I think it's because in the last 20 years, video games have become very mainstream and very popular. And of course, a lot of it trickled down to the motorcycle community as well. Potentially the people that design these helmets are also fans of some of these video games. So There you go. Something else that's popular is cosplay it's become huge people make tons of money off of that Whether it's at comic-con or on YouTube Instagram TikTok, there's huge massive amount of super popular uh, people that or influencers whatever you want to call it that do cosplay and make a living off of it so all of those kind of converge into this minor niche that is uh motorcycling now we have this mt street fighter or uh speed and strength helmet in this particular case this is the mt street fighter let's talk about the pros and cons of this i, I don't think anyone would begrudge me saying that it's a pretty cool looking motorcycle helmet let's talk about the failures first and foremost i am a medium this is a medium Following their guide, I bought a medium, and it's still a little tight on my head. 
after about an hour of writing, your ears are going to start to kind of feel pressed and a little, and they're going to start to hurt a little bit. The biggest issue with this is that the front area is just not far enough. So what ends up happening is the front area right here of this nose piece is going to press down a little bit on your nose. It's too close to your face. Now, the good news is that the front area there is not plastic. It's made out of this kind of soft, rubbery material. So it doesn't necessarily hurt. It's just there. You feel it sometimes, especially if you hit a bump or something. It's going to kind of tap you on the nose a little bit. Um, if your head is a little bit smaller, you may not, or your, face, or your nose is a little bit shorter, you may not feel it. But it's close enough that you will notice it. So if I were to buy this helmet again, I probably would have bought a large and uh, it probably wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, another con is that it, while it does have space for uh, headphones, it is very, very th narrow, very thin. So you, not only are you going to feel pressure from just wearing this helmet, you're, if you decide to put uh, speakers in there, uh, it's going to be even worse. Noise significant you could take this peak off and perhaps it will reduce the noise but this right here all of these areas all of these grooves they're all going to leak noise uh, these vents don't close the noise is intrusive at higher speeds talking about this is a little chintzy it's a little you can see it's moves around and at first i thought this could be a problem but at speed you don't really notice it it, it doesn't it's not an issue and it's fairly easy to replace the visor. Uh, you only have the one visor. There's nothing underneath here. So this is the one visor you get. It does come with an extra one. So this one came with the mirror, which is what you have here, and the smoke. So it's noisy, it's loud, the vents don't close, taps you on the nose once in a while, and your ears are gonna hurt after a while as well. Now, what are the pluses? Where, where does it win looks? Looks in number one. Fit and finish is pretty pretty good it looks great number two the visor removal process and replacement is fairly easy you can do it in a minute number three ta-da it becomes a three-quarter helmet now while i have this open you can see right here is the area that causes you the discomfort right here so replace this back in clicks pretty easy Again, this comes off, the peak comes off. This comes out really easy, so you can, on a hot day, shouldn't be a problem. There are vents on the back for exhaust purposes, and here, and here. Again, the vents don't close. Vents are also on the top. They do not close, so you're gonna have airflow all the time. Because the vents don't close, and because of the noise and the, and the general discomfort that you may feel after riding for a while. The biggest recommendation I can make, if you like this helmet, and it is pretty cool, if you like this helmet, what I recommend you use it for is quick 30 minute up to an hour rides in late spring, summer, and early fall weather, if you're kind of like in the Midwest. Anything above 55 should be okay, but I would not take this touring I would not take this on multiple days or even multiple hours eventually it's gonna get to the point where it is annoying and somewhat painful to wear especially if you order the wrong size my recommendation is order a size up it is a little tight and it is a little close to your face otherwise my final thoughts on this helmet it is pretty cool <laughs> I have to say it looks pretty badass I mean look at it it's so cool. It's super cool. It's an eye catcher. If you like your helmets a little loud, and I don't mean noise, but graphics wise, if you like your helmets interesting looking or unique, it's fairly inexpensive. The same goes for the speed and strength. I believe they are the same thing, just different graphics. So that's that for MT Street Fighter. I hope this was educational for you as well as entertaining. Don't forget to click subscribe please comment below, click the like uh, button. I would love to make more of these kind of videos about unique riding gear. So stick around, watch the next video, please.
Come back soon. I'll have more videos for you. I'll see you guys out there. Ride safe.